Hey guys, Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We are in Anaheim, California at Winter NAM 2016. We've got Tony from Kevin Michael Guitars, which is a subdivision of McPherson Guitars, super nice high-end acoustics. Tony, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you, Sean. Yeah, you guys have a couple, well, a couple of years ago you guys debuted Kevin Michael Guitars, which are composite graphite uh, guitars originally designed by the guy who started composite acoustics and was at NASA and all that, but you guys have redone these and also introduced this full-scale model, um, which is what we're looking at right now. You want to tell us about this? Yeah, over the past year we've done massive engineering and uh, we just debuted this. It's a full-size 25.5 scale length. It's called the Sable. Um, it's 100% carbon fiber. It incorporates the same technology as McPherson guitars. We got the offset sound hole, the cantilevered neck, which is opens up the vibrating surface area of the guitar. Um, the cool thing about this carbon fiber is it's a consistent material. If you pull this off the rack, you're going to get the same tone every single time. It's not going to shrink or swell in climate changes. Huge for uh, touring musicians. Um, the other neat thing about our specific guitar is uh, moving the sound hole up frees up this center portion so we can actually brace it differently than traditional guitars. Uh, the bracing is uh, Nomex, it's, which is a honeycomb material used in uh, double top guitars and uh, classical guitars. So it's, uh, it's kind of a new design and we're, we're pretty excited about it. The tone that we're pulling out of it and the volume is very striking. Uh, so if you can take this anywhere, you don't have to worry about it being damaged or warping or anything, but you don't have to sacrifice your tone for it. So the, the difference in the uh, different bracing pattern and the honeycomb and all that is, you'd say, the main thing is the volume? I would say the volume and it's a more wood-like tone. Uh, we don't actually don't hand lay up the entire guitar. The neck is injection molded. So when you're working with composites, the, the resins that you use, this the recipe, so to speak, can totally alter the tone. So we've exhausted just different resins and we, we've, we've come up with something that we think is becoming more wood-like, which is, hasn't been totally expected out of the carbon guitar world. So can you flip it around back and show us what it looks yeah. like again? Uh, the back is also 100% carbon fiber. It's uh, injection molded. We use a textured black paint right now at this point, and it's uh, it's very durable. It's an industrial grade thing, and um, so we're very pleased with uh, with the instrument so far. We have an LR Bakes Element pickup. It's got a volume and control in the sound hole. It's a high output pickup, and you can really control your guitar sound in the mix using these controls. Now is it a single element, just the undersaddle transducer? There's not a microphone also? That's correct, just the uh, undersaddle transducer. And volume and tone controls there inside the sound hole? Yes, uh, conveniently located, easy to get to with your thumb. Uh, I use it all the time with my group. Uh, different songs call for different dynamics. You can really get a lot of control out of here. Cool, now let's go back to talking about the the smaller scale guitar that you guys actually debuted a couple years ago as the first Kevin Michael guitar, but you guys have completely redesigned it, I guess? Yes, uh, the initial incarnation actually had a flat top. Uh, we have added a parabolic top to this, uh, which brings out more bell-like tones, more of a, and it's stiffer and more rigid, so it's a more, it's a durability thing too. Uh, Is that the parabolic shape something you can see if you hold it to the side. You can see how it's domed this way and it's also domed across. Um, it gives it a very nice guitar look as well. Uh, and we, our company, we never, we never stop. We never stop engineering. We keep looking for uh, any improvement we can make. We want to build the finest, best sounding instruments we possibly can. So besides the parabolic top, what other changes have have you guys made? Well, we offer colors. Uh, this is a green color. There's silver, red, pink, blue, um, so that you can kind of customize the look you want to have. Uh, standard will also have a black ring. Um, what What is the uh, sort of the the <laughs> trim here? What's it made of? It's a uh, It's a composite material. It's not carbon, but it's uh, It's also injection molded. Um, so our construct the construction process is pretty unique. How we do this. Um, it's a little bit different than anything that's out there. And if I could say the advantage of this guitar, this touring guitar, is you're going to get a full-size tone out of this. The volume, it, the projection will rival a full-size guitar. 
uh, you can stand closer to your any your group members in a group, which is why this is my main guitar right now. I'm also enamored with uh, the string tension. On a shorter scale length, it actually has less tension on the strings. So normally you can't do bends like this on an acoustic guitar. So you can really bend the strings. And for if that's part of your playing style, look into getting one of these. It's it's great. You're not going to hit it on your door frame when you're going through doors. It's a nice, nice looking instrument for what it for the value it has. Nice. You want to play it for us for a second? Sure. Cool. Now, does that have the same LR bags, transducer pickup? Yeah, it does. Same, same controls. So you're gonna get a you're gonna get a nice uh, electric plugged in sound. It's gonna be consistent from guitar to guitar. Cool. You want to tell people how much the this goes for and the uh, the other one goes for? Yeah, the street price is gonna be roughly uh, 2,400 for the for the touring guitar and uh, 2,999 for the full size guitar. Cool. Why don't you tell people where to go online to find out about all these Kevin Michael guitars? You can go to McPhersonGuitars.com or KevinMichaelGuitars.com. Cool. Thanks, Tony. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com.